On a rainy night, Eddie and her mother talk in the living room. Mom says, Eddie, just tell the truth. I won't get mad. Eddie asks with a low voice, promise? Mom replies, yes, I promise. Eddie tells the truth, and the mom bursts like a volcano. You what? You're grounded! Yeah, a similar thing probably happened to us all. The beginning of the I won't get mad mostly doesn't end well. Lie one detected. They do get mad when they push the limits. Lesson learned. Hmm, parents. They are the people who always know best. When we ask them why, they always give us good reasons and explanations. It turns out they're not always the most reliable source of information. That's actually interesting. When you're a toddler, your parents are your whole world. Then you grow up and become a teen. Someone broke the spell. You realize your parents aren't as wise as Yoda. They're humans 100% of the time. They want the best for you, but you just can't bear some stuff. You know what I mean if you have a sibling? White lies. Your brother asked for a new battery for his toy, the one he constantly plays all day, every day. <laughs> the song of the toy is in your head, playing even in your dreams. So you're like, oh, I'm sorry, hon. They don't sell replacement batteries for this toy. You evil genius. So let's think back on all the myths your parents told you. If you sit too close to the TV, you'll hurt your eyes. Are you wearing glasses or contacts? If so, your parents might tell you it's about watching TV too close. This is a popular misconception. We have some good news for you. You don't have to blame yourself for wanting to get a closer look at SpongeBob. In fact, you can blame your parents for your bad eyesight. An extensive long-term study has shown that myopia in children doesn't have anything to do with watching TV or sitting in front of the computer. Myopia is genetic, and you mostly inherited it from your parents or grandparents. You'll get arthritis if you crack your knuckles. There's nothing to worry about. No connection has been made between arthritis and cracking knuckles. Bones don't pop, but air bubbles do. Why would your parents tell you the opposite? Maybe their grandparents started this chain of lies, or perhaps they just can't stand the sight or sound of knuckle cracking. We don't blame them. Your hair will grow faster if you have it cut more often. We were always told not to cry too much over all the hair we lost because it was supposed to grow back faster. Unfortunately, hair growth rate doesn't depend on how often you cut it. The average hair growth rate is 0.01 inches per day. Many factors affect it, age, hormones, and even the time of year. That's clarified. If you get scared when making a face, it'll stick that way. Spin off. If you cross your eyes, they'll stay that way. Nope, not true. Did you often surprise your parents or siblings with scary or funny faces? Then you've most likely heard that you could get stuck with that look if someone scares you. Of course, yeah. this is a myth. No connection has been found between getting scared and facial nerve dysfunction. Your mimicry was perhaps so impressive, it really scared or bothered your parents too much. The toy store, the candy shop, the zoo, or other places are mysteriously closed when parents are getting tired of arguing about going there. It's not a damaging lie, but it's a missed opportunity to help children deal with adversity. According to psychologists, yeah, you know that the grocery store is not out of cookies, and the amusement park is open until late. What about road trips? You and your parents are on the way. It's a hot summer day, and you just want to arrive at the holiday destination. On family road trips, every now and then you ask them, are we there yet? And the answer is, we're almost there. Yeah, bro, you were never almost there. In the adult world, this can truly mean any amount of time. I bet you're using this phrase nowadays too. You know when you're still at home getting dressed and your friend texts you saying that they'll be there in 10? Busted. Okay, so now you know storks don't deliver babies. The drawings you show to your parents? Haha, <laughs> yeah, the ones that they hung up on their fridge door aren't the best drawings they've ever seen. They sure made you feel like it, and that's great, for real. Who wants to tell a five-year-old kid that they didn't understand the doodle in the paper? This is really nice. Um, that's this part here. House of the Turtle, Mommy. Hmm, huh, yeah, turtle. Does it have a name? Yeah, yeah, they were dope. Maybe they are living Yodas after all the patience they had in them. <laughs>